Hi everyone, it's Imogen from Red Wing Solutions, HR for Early Years Specialists, and this afternoon I'm just filming a short video to show you how you can use Canva.com to make your images promoting vacancies in your setting really stand out on social media. So I've loaded up Canva.com um, and I'm going to hit on the Facebook post design. I know that it's uh, there, the, the dimensions I want it to be for my Facebook um, posts, so I'm going to hit that one and make that selection. Now everything we do on Canva.com is free, there are paid for options on Canva, no need to spend any money the um, way I would see it, um, and you can do everything we're talking about for free. Now I want to be able to have one image on the page, so I've gone for the option of grids, not using any of the designs, and I'll click on that option, and that will just then fill one image, fill in the screen. Now, I don't want an image of a cloud and a field, so no matter how nice that is. The purpose of using images in social media advertising is that you've actually got pictures that you've taken of the staff working in your setting. Now this is a stock image of a gentleman, young man, working with a child. Now if you've got model release forms in your setting, your staff are signing release to allow you to use copies of their um, images in your recruitment, all the better. And you can then have pictures of actual people working. Now obviously you need the parent to give consent for any child to appear, but you can take images where the child cannot be identified and they can be just as powerful because it's the staff member we want to see working in your setting. Whatever they're doing, you can come up with some great photographs um, and use those as part of your advertisements to your candidates. Now obviously we need to say what we're doing, so I'm going to add another element. So if I click on shapes on the left hand side, and if I click on this first one, this is going to give me a square. I know I don't want a square. And actually, I know I don't want it black, but I want to be able to put some text on here. And the best way for me to do that is to be able to write on a black back on a on a background, not a black background. I'll go for a white one, and I'll hit the transparency button, and we'll go for fifty four percent. Yeah, that's about transparent enough. We can still see his nice head. Um, and let's pick a font. So we'll add a heading, and we're going to say we are hiring. Oh, actually, we'll say we are recruiting. Oh, I seem to have two here now. That's not very helpful, is it? Let's get rid of that. There we go. Do that again. So add a heading. We are recruiting. I think that is how you spell it. And we'll move him up into position. Yes, he is. Don't bother hiring a HR consultant who can't spell the word recruitment. And we'll change the font something a bit softer. There we go. Now what you can see we've produced in just a few clicks is an image of a nursery worker working with a child. And that's where the power is going to come from in your social media advertising. And clearly that appearing on your uh, nursery page's timeline is going to give the message out to prospects and candidates that you are hiring and this is what it looks like to be working in your setting and you can now just download that image um, recommend it as a ping file png file which is just like a jpg very useful um, and obviously use user friendly for facebook and it just pops down in my bottom left hand corner and then I can open it in any software I like to save it onto my computer before uploading to Facebook. I hope you found today's little video useful and I'll see you again soon.